بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم شاترین سواتی is here from biosciences with شاترین سواتی and today I will discuss about the phylum echinodermata the prettiest creation of Allah and I named this phylum as a starfish family because most of the students are familiar with the starfish so uh, I named it as a starfish family but before discussing the phylum echinodermata I have a very humble request to all of you kindly subscribe my channel promote my channel if you are um, uh, uh, taking interest in promoting the education kindly promote my channel like my videos share my videos and if you're sharing my videos my lectures you are sharing the knowledge so keep watching keep sharing knowledge with other no now I'm starting my lecture about the phylum echinodermata as you can see here uh, the photographs of some echinoderms which are uh, mostly found and most of the students are familiar with these animals like uh, sea urchin and first one on the left side sea urchin on my right side this is the um, uh, starfish and in the mid is the sea cucumber because it's shape like star and in the sea cucumber like cucumber and like uh, spine urchin sea urchin spiny skin so here i will give you the introduction about uh, the echinodermata and then the characteristics and then i will discuss the body system of echinodermata so you will see here in echinodermata that some characteristics are more advanced and some characteristics are uh, just like the uh, earlier animal like porifera and cilantrata, nidarians and platyal menthes and many more. So first of all the word derivation echinoderma, echinoderma, echino means spiny and derma means skin. So the echinoderms are spiny skin animals. What does the word mean? This word derived from echinoderma. Echino means spine and derma means skin. So they are spiny skin animals. Include starfish, sea cucumber, sea urchin, uh, brittle star and sand dollar. Sand dollar you can see this is the sand dollar because this all these um, animals live on the floor of the sea. And the shape of that animal is like the dollar star and uh, spine skin. So characteristics. First of all. What, what is the habitat, where they live. As you know the word derivation, why they are called the echinoderms, the reason you people not now know that, they are called spiny skin because they have spines on their skin. They have endoskeleton too. These animals first of all about its habitat, on, they live on the sea floor. So that's what they, they are truly marine. They are truly marine. They don't found in fresh water. Now the second one about the symmetry. Their body symmetry at the adult. When they grow up, their body symmetry and radial symmetry. Like the previous animal. Like the less advanced animals. But at the larval stage, they have advanced character. They have bilateral uh, symmetry like the higher vertebrates and many more they have uh, like uh, annelidas arthropoders they are all uh, bilateral so they have bilateral symmetry at the larval stage but radial symmetry at the adult stage the third one point which is very important they are coelomate they are what coelomate they have true body cavity they are triploblastic means their uh, body at the embryonic stage uh, they show the three germ layers and their body developed from three germ layers in ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm. They have endoskeleton. Echinoderms, most important characteristic is that they are deuterostom. They are what? Deuterostom. Deuterostom and there is another uh, 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 there is another class of any which are known as protosome. Protosome and deuterostom. So, so protosome in protostome, what will happen? The blastopore at the gastrula stage, which is the embryonic stage, third stage, 
एट द ब्लास्टोपोर एट द गेस्ट्रोला स्टेज ब्लास्टोपोर विच इज द ओपनिंग एंड द गेस्ट्रोला डिवेलप इन टू द एन एस इन केस ऑफ द ज्यूटोस्टोम बट इन केस ऑफ द प्रोटोस्टोम दिस ब्लास्टोपोर डिवेलप इन टू माउथ मीन्स द फर्स्ट पोर ब्लास्टोपोर डिवेलप इन टू द माउथ दैट्स वाई दे आर नॉट प्रोटियोस्टोम एंड दे आर ड्यूटोस्टोम मीन्स सेकेंड माउथ मीन्स द ब्लास्टोपोर विच इज द फर्स्ट पोर फॉर्म द एन एस एंड द माउथ डिवेलप फ्रॉम द सेकेंड पोर विच डिवेलप लेटर ऑन सो दे आर ड्यूट्रोसोम एंड दिस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इज एडवांस कैरेक्टर एंड दिस इज सिमिलर टू द हायर वर्टिब्रेट्स कॉर्डेट्स इज इट क्लियर नाउ एंड आई विल इन शाह डिलीवर अ डिटेल लेक्चर अबाउट द डिफरेंट एम्ब्रियनिक स्टेजेस लाइक ब्लास्टूला गेस्टूला एंड मैनी मोर इन ह्यूमन एंड अदर एनिमल्स इन शाह सो कीप वॉचिंग माई लेक्चर्स Now, first of all, uh, uh, I will discuss the water vascular system before discussing all its body system. Now, I am going to discuss the body systems. So, first system I am going to discuss is the water vascular system. This is very important because this water vascular system is the base for the excretion, for respiration, for um, uh, circulation. They have well developed water vascular system, and this water vascular system. a consist of the two feeds you can see here the two feeds in the starfish this is the starfish and you can see here the two feeds i will later on discuss about its uh, digestive system and its um, reproductive system and many more so first of all i am going to discuss what the water vascular system the water vascular system is like circulatory system we say that um, and many other system respiratory system so this is the system in which the water move through current in inside of the body through these two two feeds and then come outside all the nutrient gases with the water move inside of the body through these two feeds and come outside of the two through these uh, two feeds so water vascular system consists of two feeds now you can see here the water vascular system uses water pumps to help the marine uh, to help the animals move eat breathe and sense the environment is it clear now you can note down this uh, from my lecture from these slides easily the network contain a central ring and area which contain the two feeds which uh, stretch along the body or arms the two feet poke through holes in the skeleton and can be extended or contracted as you can see here in the previous slides these two feet extended through all parts of the body through all arms of the body and pump the water in and out and these you feed actually help in respiration circulation excretion and many more so this is the water vascular system and the water vascular system consists of what two feeds and two feeds were they are small tubes which are extended throughout the body is it clear now now i am going to discuss about the digestive system as you have seen there in the uh, previous slide that digestive system in case of the echinoderms consist of mouth esophagus two parts stomach intestine and rectum and rectum with the ns located in the center of the uh, aboral body surface now i'm going to show you you can see here they these animals are dorso ventral means dorsal side and ventral side on the dorsal side you can see this is the anus present on its ventral side there is a mouth present and you can see here the structure of the two feet two which are extend throughout the body so they have what digestive glands they have stomach they have mouth they have anus but ns is present on the dorsal surface and mouth is present on the ventral surface is it clear now how many parts mouth esophagus two parts stomach intestine and rectum rectum with ns is it clear now 
Okay. Now I'm going to discuss the XUT system. As I have discussed that the water vascular system actually is the base for all uh, the systems like you can say um, uh, excretion, um, intake of the food, all these are possible because of that water vascular system. So there is, you can see chiroderms have excretory system, simple, with no kidneys and use diffusions to uh, get rid of their bodies, nitrogen is phased, which is mainly ammonia gas. Is it clear? So the excretory system, what is excretion? There is no kidney and nephridi and nephron and many more. They have just using the, they are just using the tube feeds for the excretion of the uh, material through their body by simple mechanism of diffusion. Is it clear? I have a simple excretory system. Now I'm moving towards the circulatory system. As there is no well-developed excretory system because they have water vascular system and water vascular system play a very important role in performing all the functions. So circulatory system also depend upon that. Echinodermates do not have heart and true circulatory system. But you can say that they have an open circulatory system in the form of these uh, tube feeds with cil cilia circulating the fluid throughout through each arm. As you can see, th all these uh, echinoderms have, like in starfish, you see, you see here, they have tube feeds, and these tube feeds what help in the uh, circulation as well as excretion. They have cilia and movement of the material throughout the body occurs through that. So this sort of the uh, circulatory system is called open circulatory system because there is no, even they have don't, don't have a heart. They don't need it because body is in direct contact with the environment for the exchange of the material. So respiratory system. Respiratory system also occur through, uh, depends upon the water vascular system, occur through the general body surface, but they have simple gills along with the tube feeds. So this is the simplest respiratory system. They have, you can see here the gills, skin gills, small gills, small pores, as well as uh, there is a network of the uh, tube feeds too. So respiration, circulation, I'm repeating again and again, simplest and all depends upon the water vascular system and water vascular system consists of the tube feeds. Is it clear? Now, I'm going to discuss about the nervous system. They have simple radial nervous system they don't have any brain but some species do possess ganglia they don't have any brain but they do possess ganglia but mostly i'm showing you here the nervous system consists of the nerve ring and that nerve ring is present around the um uh, uh, system along the mouth along on the dorsal cell and ventral surface, you can see this is the nerve ring which surrounding the, all the organs. And from these nerve rings, radial nerves arises and these nerves uh, reach to each arm, to each part of the body. So they have simplest nervous system, they have simplest uh, excretory system. Digestive system, digestive system is a little bit complex because they have stomach and um, uh, uh, intestine and many more things. Is it clear? That how the nervous system, which is the simplest, consists of just a nerve ring and in some cases they do possess ganglia and from these nerve rings and ganglia, what will happen? Nerve, uh, uh, nerve cords or radial nerves arises and reaches to all part of the body. Is it clear now? So this is very interesting and very uh, easy among all the 
file in which I have discussed step by step. Uh, I hope so you uh, enjoy all the, you will enjoy all these lectures, you will get the knowledge from these lectures and give me your feedback, ask the questions. I'm thankful to you people for watching my lectures and giving me the feedback. I need more. So keep watching and keep sharing. Thank you and Allah Hafiz. I will see you tomorrow with new lecture from Biosciences with Shatrin Sawati.